The Justice Department plans to push for a speedy trial in former President Donald Trump's January 6th case, and the Parkland, Florida school shooting will be reenacted today as part of a civil lawsuit. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The special counsel prosecuting former President Donald Trump has a week to propose a trial date in the January 6th case. NPR's Kerry Johnson reports the Justice Department wants a speedy trial in Washington, D.C. Prosecutor Thomas Windham says this case, like any other, should be handled in regular order, and that means a speedy trial. Former President Trump pleaded not guilty to four felony charges, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and conspiracy to obstruct Congress as it certified ballots on January 6, 2021. Trump's lawyer, John Lauro, says there's a significant amount of evidence in the case to review. He suggested Trump may seek a long-shot bid to move the case to West Virginia, where more people voted for Trump. The former president is the frontrunner for the GOP nomination in 2024. He'll be fighting three criminal cases during the campaign. Carrie Johnson, NPR News, Washington. The National Weather Service says excessive heat is sticking around the southwest and south-central parts of the U.S. Temperatures up to 115 degrees are expected in Phoenix today. The heat index will be almost the same today in Oklahoma City. Heavy thunderstorms are crossing Alabama this morning. Forecasters have issued flash flood warnings for some northern parts of the state. They say as much as four inches of rain have already fallen, and another three inches could be on the way. Parts of the same area were hit by storms yesterday. Ten people were hurt in Etowah County, Alabama, about 60 miles northeast of Birmingham. Rusty Tidmore ran to get his daughter off his bus when the storms hit. I get to the bus to get my daughter off the top bunk, trees falling everywhere. I put her, drag her in the floor, and I'm holding her in the floor, and as, as we hit the floor, the bus lifts off the ground. More flash flood warnings are also posted this morning in parts of Missouri and Tennessee. Today, the shooting that claimed 17 lives at a high school in Parkland, Florida, five years ago, is being reenacted. NPR's Kristen Wright reports it's part of a civil lawsuit. Ballistics experts will fire live ammunition from an identical weapon as the gunman from the same locations inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The community has expressed anger, but the court decided the reenactment might address a key question. The school resource officer on duty that day, a sheriff's deputy, never entered the building. Scott Peterson said he couldn't hear all of the shots or pinpoint where they were coming from. University of Michigan law school professor Len Niehoff says reenactments can demonstrate complexity. One reason and you sometimes admit demonstrative evidence is to help the jury understand that they actually know less about something than they think they do. A judge will decide whether a recording of the reenactment is played for the jury. Peterson was acquitted of criminal charges in June. Kristen Wright, NPR News. This is NPR.